Dai Pai Dong Chinese, da pai dang is a type of open-air food stall in Hong Kong. The government registration name in Hong Kong is cooked food stalls, but Dai Pai Dong literally means big license stall, referring to its size of license which is bigger than other licensed street vendors. According to the Food and Environmental Hygiene Department, there are only 25 Dai Pai Dong remaining in Hong Kong. Topic. Characteristics A Dai Pai Dong is characterized by its green painted steel kitchen, untidy atmosphere, the lack of air conditioning, as well as a variety of low priced great wok hay dishes. Regarded by some as part of the collective memory of Hong Kong people, official Dai Pai Dong are scarce today, numbering only 28, situated in Central 10, Sham Shui Po 14, Wan Chai 1, Tai Hang 2, and Tai O 1. Although the term Dai Pai Dong is often used generically to refer to any food stall operating on the roadside with foldable tables, chairs and no air conditioning like those on Temple Street, legally speaking the term can only refer to those 28 stalls which possess the Big licenses. Topic History. Unlicensed food stalls, which provide cheap everyday foods such as kanji, rice, and noodles to the general public of humble income, appeared as early as the late 19th century in Hong Kong. The stalls could be found not only in Central, but also in Wan Chai and the peripheries of Happy Valley Racecourse around Wang Nai Chung Road. In fact, the fire at the racecourse in 1918 was caused by food stalls set beside the podium. There were also stalls assembled by wharf piers, which formed the so-called Waisak Matau Wei Shi Ma Tu lit. Gluttonous Pier, to serve ferry passengers. After World War II came to an end in 1945, the colonial Hong Kong government issued ad hoc licenses to families of deceased and injured civil servants, allowing them to operate food stalls in public and thereby earn a living. This type of license was physically considerably larger than the ones normally issued, as a photograph of the licensee was required to appear on them. The license, therefore, was jocularly called Dai Pai Big License by the locals. From then on, the Big license stalls began to flourish on every busy street and lane in Hong Kong. However, Dai Pai Dong soon became the cause of traffic congestion and hygiene problems, and some licensees even began to let out their stalls on the black market. In response, the government stopped issuing new big licenses in 1956 and limited their transfer. The licenses could no longer be inherited and could only be passed on to spouses upon the licensee's death. If the licensee did not have a spouse, the license would simply expire. Since 1975, many Dai Pai Dong have been moved into temporary markets, like the ones on Haiphong Road, Sim Sha Sui, or into cooked food centers, usually located in municipal services complexes managed by the Urban Council, for easier control. To improve worsening public hygiene, the government began to buy back big licenses from the license holders in 1983. Since most of the licensees were aged, and the licenses are only legally transferable to their spouses, many of the licensees were willing to return their licenses for compensation. Since then, the number of traditional Dai Pai Dong has declined rapidly. Today, most Dai Pai Dong survive by operating in cooked food centers, while the more successful ones have reinvented themselves as air-conditioned restaurants some of them keep their original stalls operating at the same time, like Lan Fang Yuan, Lan Fang Yuan in Gage Street, Central. It was reported that revenues of Dai Pai Dong increased considerably in 2003 when Hong Kong was plagued by SARS, as people regarded air-conditioned places as hotbeds of the virus and patronized open-air and sun-lit stalls instead. Features One can order tailor-made dishes. It is customary to have to share tables with complete strangers when there is a shortage of seating. Unlike Cha Chan Tang, most Dai Pai Dong do not provide set meals. Cross-stall ordering is possible, for instance, when one is sitting and eating in a stall selling noodles, he or she can order a cup of milk tea from another stall, which may be several stalls away. The stalls can be roughly divided into those operating in daytime and those doing business at night. 
The Dai Pai Dong which operate at night usually sell seafood and other more costly dishes, one dish usually costs from HKD $40 minus 70. The daytime Dai Pai Dong, on the contrary, provide cheap food including Kanji and Yutiao aka Yao Cha Kwai Milk tea, toasts, sandwiches and instant noodles with ham, egg, luncheon meat or sausage Rice or noodles with sumei shao wei roasted meats Fried rice and dip tao fan da2 fan rice plates Chia chow style noodles Chow zhou fan mian Preservation In May 2005, the existence of Dai Pai Dong in Hong Kong caught considerable public attention, as Man Yuan Noodles, a Dai Pai Dong selling noodles in Central, faced imminent closure due to the death of the licensee. The news came after the closure of a bakery notable for its egg tarts, also located in Central and forced to close because of the rise of rent. The bakery reopened in October 2005, despite calls for its preservation by many locals, including some politicians. The stall was closed on the 30th of July 2005. The Hong Kong government was criticized for not trying its best to preserve Dai Pai Dong as part of the Hong Kong culture. The news of the closure coincided with the government's proposal of the development of West Kowloon Cultural District. The stall has unexpectedly reopened at a nearby shop on the 1st of December 2005. See also Cantonese restaurant Cart noodle Hawkers in Hong Kong Pai Dong